Hi, want to join some pull-ups in your home? Get a rope, tie some knots, a big knot, and then some smaller knots. And you take that bigger knot and just connect under your door, all the way in here. And you don't have to close the door, but just have it like medium open. And you just drag this rope over here. So basically what we are doing now is that we are pulling ourselves on the ground. And for us that are into climbing, we can use those small uh, knots here to connect our fingers. So it will look like this. And basically, you can be as creative as you want. You can kind of grab the rope. Like this, you're gonna pull more with a little finger. You can grab the knots, maybe like a type of a pinch, pinching the knot. You can also go two fingers. And the whole thing here is that you train your, your back muscles a little bit different. What I did now, I pull with more of my back, but I can also do it like this. And now, I'm pulling more with my back, but also my front. So this is the main thing about pull-ups or pull-downs or chins or... When we pull here, we're using the chest also, including the latissimus. When we pull more on the back, we use more of the back muscles. So depending on what the goal is. But this is so easy. Everybody can do it. And if you want to create more challenge, get something that can have more friction on the floor. So I got my door mat. It's super, it's like glue on this side. So I'm gonna just keep it like this. So I keep a little bit more friction at the lower end and a little more slide at the upper end. So I can go all the way now, get a good training on my back. So I'm sliding my body. So. Ah, oh, too far. Can also do sideways. Keeping the core. Really so easy. Having a rope, connecting these dots, make more dots, make, uh, for example, you can make also much bigger dots. You can even just do it for your fingers. So you have a finger inside and drag yourself. And you can have bigger and thicker ropes. So everything is also a little bit about what the floor you have. How can you make it not too slippery and not too much friction, but somewhere where you can have maybe 10 repetitions, 20, that is good for you and how you can also get this benefits, results, muscle growth, training, pull-ups and training your back basically on the floor of your own home.